Yes, I mean, I, I thought that I could explain to the Standards Committee what happened and it was uh, it would have been worth explaining what happened, which I will in a minute. Um, but in the end, I could see that the, the, the Ferrari, um, the damage I was causing my family and um, my constituency and association was, just wasn't worth carrying on. So is your decision based on an acknowledgement of wrongdoing? Yes, and I'll explain to you exactly what it is. OK. The uh, situation was that, that um, I, uh, funnily enough, it was tractors that I was looking at, and um, so I did get into another website um, that had a sort of very similar name, um, and I watched it for a bit, which I shouldn't have done. But my, my crime, my biggest crime, um, is that on another occasion I went in a second time. And that was deliberately? And that was deliberate. And, and was uh, that in the Select Committee or in the Commons Chamber? That was uh, sitting, waiting, waiting to vote um, on the side of the chamber. I mean, I don't know whether it's technically chamber or not, really. It's, it's on the side doors as you enter back in, into the lobbies. Um, what I want so to... So, to be clear, on at, least, so at least, on at least one occasion, you were blatantly viewing pornography on your mobile phone in the chamber of the House of Commons? Yeah, I have uh, that... What? What, and I, and I, you know, I mean, I, what made I mean, you think that was remotely acceptable? No, not, nothing made it um, feel. So, remote. what was going through your mind? Yeah, at the time? I mean, moment of madness, um, and also totally wrong. Um, but what I do want to put on record is that I, for all my rights and wrongs, I was not proud of what I was doing. And the one thing I wasn't doing, and which I will take to my grave as being true. Um, is I was not actually making sure people could see it. In fact, I was trying to do co quite the opposite, and I was wrong what I was doing. But this idea that I was there, you know, watching it and, and intimidating women, I mean, I have had 12 years in, in the Parliament and probably got one of the best reputations ever, or did have. Um, so, I mean, if, if there'd been anything else on me, you know, the press would have got it by now. So, I mean... I thought I may as well come and tell the truth and, 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 and that's why I'm resigning. But you could have viewed this content privately in your own time, but you chose to do it in the chamber of the House of Commons. Yeah, madness, total madness. I mean, I, I mean I'm, not, I'm not going to defend it. I'm also not going to defend what I did. What I did was absolutely, totally wrong. And so in the end... Um, what do you do? Do you I mean I, I could have? I could have. What goes through I, your mind, though? I mean, I, I appreciate you decided, having accidentally stumbled upon this content, that you wanted to view more of it. But what on earth possessed you to choose to do that in the House of Commons? I don't know. Like I said, I think I must have taken complete leave of my senses and my sensibilities and, and, and a sense of decency, everything. So, like I said, I, I'm not. I'm not defending what I did uh, for, for one moment, um, but um, I thought the best thing I can do, and that's why I want to put this on record, is, is absolutely tell the truth. 